First, I want to thank everybody. YouTube has let us know that we are now over 1,000 subscribers strong. Thank you. So I need a way to test uh, if the bees need any protein. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take these little aluminum foil trays and put about a teaspoon of pollen substitute in each of them and then put them in the hives. Uh, generally the bees don't like the pollen substitute, they like the real pollen and that's not enough really to kick in brood. But if they are starving they will take it. So if there are hives that uh, eat up the pollen, we'll know that, uh, or the pollen substitute, we'll know that these hives probably need a little bit of attention. If they ignore it, then that means they're fine. Generally when the hives have honey, uh, they get a little bit of the protein out of the honey, but they still need pollen in there. The sugar-fed hives, on the other hand, well, you know, if sugar is all they're eating, they're not getting protein. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put a little bit of this, uh, powdered pollen substitute in there and just see what they did with it. Um, my bet is that the sugar-fed ones will eat a little bit and the honey-fed ones will not. We'll know in a couple of days. Well, I have some bees up here. Up there. Too pissed at my intrusion. These are our sugar-fed bees. Slip this in here, like that. We'll come back and see if they take that in a couple of days. So I had someone ask me recently, uh, aren't you worried about the mold you find in the hives during the winter? The truth be known is uh, the mold is a source of protein as well. The bees eat it. As long as you're not fostering black mold or something crazy like that. All hives now have our little pollen sampler, eh, pollen substitute. And uh, we'll check in in a few days or a week or so. And uh, if they haven't touched it, that's fine. You know, that's normal actually. They, they don't really like the pollen substitute. They'd rather have pollen. On the other hand, if they devour it, we know that they're starving for, for this type of protein and we'll, we'll put some more in. Uh, we're getting near the end of February. So now uh, you get into March and we're gonna start putting pollen patties on and encouraging brood rearing. So, so it's been a couple of days and we're gonna go right down the line and see what the uptake's been like. Uh, I don't see really any uptake on hive number one. Sorry for the bouncy camera work. I was trying to do a few things at the same time and still hold the camera. So bear with me for a little bit. Hive number two, they've taken a little bit of it. Or actually, hive number three, I'm sorry. Still there in hive number four, a little bit of chewing. Hive number five. Hive number six. Hive number eight. Hive number nine. So the conclusion is um, nobody's starving for pollen. So while I was working on the bees, I was hearing this strange tapping noise that sounded like Morse code. Um, I was kind of startled. I couldn't find out where it was coming from at first, and I'm um, looking around Buzz Park and around the outside, and it all seems to be coming from this one tree. Uh, very, very bizarre, and uh, I'll show you a little sample of it here, and if anybody has any answers, well... That sound is coming from inside this tree.
primarily this branch. And it sounds like right inside here. There's no hollow out on this tree. see any entrance point for an animal to get in there. It's just bizarre. So in about two weeks we'll come back and we're going to put uh, pollen patties uh, in these hives and start building them up hopefully for April. In the meantime, uh, if someone has a clue as to what on earth is going on with that tree, let me know in the comments. I mean there's no wind blowing or anything and uh, it's just weird. <laughs> Till next week, remember to like and subscribe and uh, have a safe week.